Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Well, I've got uh, an Electrolux to have a look at and I have no idea what it'd be like. There was only one picture of this on eBay. It's supposed to work, I don't know much about it. It wasn't expensive, I think I was the only bidder. I'm not sure if it was a buy it now actually. Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, it's bagless. And it's a 2000 watt. Not very well. <laughs> Not very well packaged at all. Not a hint of any internal packaging. <laughs> Deary me. Well, it seems to have survived anyway. It's quite cold. I've just brought it in from the garage. In fact, I've had this several weeks. In fact, I got this last year, <clears throat> but on first reaction to this, it seems, what on earth is that about? I don't think that's right, what's, what's all this? That's odd. Um, <clears throat> right, well that was a very, very quick <laughs> unboxing. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough, so... Uh, I might have to pause the video from time to time to hack my guts up. But uh, right, let's take a closer look. It's still a bit cold. Brought it in from a cold garage into a warm living room. But so far, I think that's going to clean up very well. Well, here it is. I've given it a bit of a wipe, but it's in pretty good condition. It was posted in that big box with no internal packaging and it survived. I can't see anything wrong with it. It seems to be a pretty robust little cleaner. I'd say, guessing, I don't know much about this era of Electrolux. I think it's probably, we're probably, probably into the 2000s. I mean, we're on 2020 now at the time of making this video. And to, to think, well, the start of the year 2000 was 20 years ago. Can you believe it? So, I don't think it's 90s, I would say winter the 2000s. We could even be into the 2010s with this cleaner. And I've actually unboxed the toy version of this on my channel uh, last December. And um, at the time I said I had the real thing, but I hadn't actually opened it. So, now this thing that was loose, this bit of elastic that was like that, so that is supposed to be on the cleaner, but it goes around here and Electrolux call it Ergo Shock. So basically it's just a thin bumper to just protect the cleaner slightly when you're vacuuming and to protect the uh, furniture. It's a 2000 watt vacuum, so obviously this predates the EU regulations. It uh, has a parquet nozzle and HEPA filtration, but it also has the Ergo Box cyclonic system. Now after I gave this a clean I can now see, might be hard to pick up on camera, but this black cover is translucent. It might be easier to see when I open it up, um, but it actually it doesn't seem to be very dirty. So we've got the exhaust vent here. There doesn't seem to be a way of accessing the exhaust filter, not from the outside. There's a parking slot. If I can find the carpet and floor nozzle that will park on there as will there we go the parquet nozzle yuck what else can we see about this cleaner well on the underside well two large wheels swivel caster we've got the parking slot to fit either of the large nozzles let's have a quick look at the rating plate so this is the Electrolux model ZE2410 type PA4, PNC is 910-2861-02, serial number 432-901107. Hmm, I wonder if that means it's from 2007. It could be. And it's 1800 watt NOM, 2000 watt max. Doesn't say where it's made though. At the back here, we've got the cord. It's 
so that works and I can't see any visible cord rewind button so I think this will be a pull pull system let's pull out the cord completely there we go yeah it seems to work on the pull pull system so the only controls we have on the machine is this large dial might be a bit hard to see on camera but it's in the off position now so as we turn it we can go up to max so that's off and then max oh, of course you can adjust the suction the motor speed anywhere in between off and maximum and there is also a well it'll be a box full indicator rather than a bag full indicator just here seems to be a standard piston style bag check indicator or box because this doesn't have a bag it has a box so let's look at the box um there we are Ooh. Ugh. so this is the ooh, this is the dirtiest part of the cleaner yuck we're gonna have to yeah we're gonna have to get something to clean that out so there's the filter and there's a lot of muck a lot of muck inside i mean they're saying that it's not too bad that side of the filter is dirty-ish but yeah this is going to make a mess so here is uh, uh, <laughs> the uh how do you open this what's oh there we go oh yuck 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 Ew. well i wonder if this was discarded because it stopped picking up which i wouldn't be so oh that's yeah that is oh what on earth's that not oh there's a pencil not, there's something in here that oh my lord what's that money ah <gasps> crikey five pence i believe <gasps> and it's a funny design five pence i wonder if it's a rare five pence that's worth 50 pounds well, I will clean that up and pop that in my piggy bank. I'm not going to throw away five pence. Ooh, oh, is that? Ooh, gosh. Yeah. Doesn't look very, um, very like domestic dirt. This looks like the sort of dirt you, if you were vacuuming your garden shed or possibly your car. Anyway, that. Ugh, that is completely trashed. But fortunately, inside the box, we've got a brand new filter. So I don't even have to buy a filter. I don't think I'll have to spend any money on this because I think I can clean that, wash that. If this hadn't come with a filter, obviously, I would have had to buy one because, oh, I don't know if that's, oh, um, um, actually though, is, I don't know if this is the correct filter for it because it looks, it's different, isn't it? Uh, this has got plastic bits on it and this hasn't although it has but it's it's all completely split but it's got no hmm it might not ah oh, oh dear well you can't win them all i think what's happened folks the people who owned this first realized it needed a new filter and purchased this and found oh hang on it, it doesn't fit I'm not sure what that's for I expect it's for an Electrolux any ideas folks what uh, model that would be for it's not for this one though so oh dear I am going to have to buy without a doubt a new filter for this but I've got you know obviously I've got the model number and everything so it'll be easy enough I'm sure just oh oh it smells uh, ack. right I'm just gonna tip this out Ugh. I'm not normally grossed out by dirt in a vacuum but this one is is pretty nasty I have to say I've got a free pencil 
I'm not keeping it. Right, I'll just tip that uh, down the uh, outside in the bin and then uh, suck out the muck from inside here, clean the filter up a bit and switch it on and see if it works. give this a, a very brief wipe. It does smell a bit. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to turning this on. Some bits are stuck on here. They wouldn't uh, allow me to suck them out because they're sort of stuck. So I'll loosen them with this surface wipe and then when that's dried I should be able to get rid of the loose bits using the, the other vacuum. Ooh, I th you know, surprised it's quite manky inside. Could have been worse, I suppose. I know I could have found worse things, but it, this one is, this, this is something about it that makes me feel dirty. I think I might have a shower after this video. I'll certainly scrub my hands because, ugh, yucky. Pretty sure you could get this in a bagged version, which would have been preferable. And looking at I wonder if you can get bags to fit this. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I am gonna i I'm gonna repeat, I think this is from the 2000s. Um Yeah, but not as late as 2010. I think it's before 2010. Somewhere between year 2000 and 2010 is my guesstimate. I'm sure someone can tell me in the comments when this cleaner was in the shops. Uh, more bits coming out of it. It's going to give it a you know, brief wipe. So uh, yeah, it's going to definitely need a new filter. It's a shame that that one, spare one supply didn't fit. Unless, ah oh, no, hang on a minute. Removing some dirt has revealed something to me. I think it might fit. I'll show you why. I've just shampooed this bit of carpet today and it's ever so slightly damp in places so it's going to leave marks spilling muck on it. All the seals around 
the lid of the uh, bagless unit seem fine, it is dirty. Now, the reason I think it's going to fit is because there is a bit in here. I tried to fit this on here, but this bit should come out. Yes, it does. Ah, that's good. So, yes, fantastic. It does fit, look, folks. That does fit. It is the correct filter. This will need a wash, obviously. It's not too bad. I've got, got the worst off. But I can wash that. A bit of biological washing powder. Slide that back into position. And this is just a little bit damp still. <clears throat> I think I've loosened the dirt. Let me just get me shark. There we are, suck out the rest of the bits. Clean my shark now, I think, after this. Okay, right then. That's a little bit better, isn't it? It's not perfect, but it'll do for the purpose of this demo. And I'll reach over. This can be washed, hot soapy water, the whole thing. But it'll, it's okay for now. So, we've got the new filter. And we've got the lid, so how does this go on? Like that. Yeah, I think that's everything. That's all in place. Now, how did it go? Is it this way? No. This way, was it? Yes, that's the way it goes in. So, with the hole at the back in front of the secondary filter, the pre-motor filter, well, there are two pre-motor filters, aren't they? I think this is what they class as HEPA, that pleated filter, because I say there's no, I can't see any access to the um, final filter. There's a bit of a, a guide on here on washing filters and emptying. You can wash the pleated, let it dry. Doesn't mention this filter, but I'm sure that sort of filter I can wash. And if I ruin it when I'm washing it, I'm sure I can get replacement now. It's not too old, this vacuum. So I think actually, let me just check. Yes, you can't close it without the box in place. Right then. Okay, that's a little bit better. That manky thing is going in the bin. Ugh. Right then, folks, it's time for the dreaded switcheroo. Switch on. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it will. Okay, so I've put it at what will hopefully be a safe distance. I'm just going to quickly have a scan of the mains cable. Make sure it's not damaged. You normally find damage in mains cables on upright vacuums where the owner has run the vacuum over the cable. Does, do you don't see it so much on cylinder cleaners? What you can see though, if a cylinder doesn't work, sometimes there can be a break in the connection either near the plug or where it enters the machine, but often you can see no visible sign of the breakage. So often you can cure it by cutting the original plug off and putting a new plug on, just a, a few inches down. Anyway, the cable looks okay. I'm plugged in. Oh dear me. <laughs> right, I've switched it on, but only on low power. Let's hope it doesn't blow up. Ooh. 
Oh, well, that sounds very good. Very quiet, obviously. It's on low power. It didn't switch on initially. So I'm assuming that it has a soft start function. So what I'm going to do, I'm turning up the dial to max and switch it on again. And we'll see if it actually does ramp up to maximum. Okay, here goes. It's powerful for a vacuum to be able to hold itself up and it's got it hasn't doesn't smell fortunately it's got quite a new smell to it it reminds me quite a while ago on my channel I unboxed an Electrolux um, Bolido I think it was called and I think it's from a similar era and I do like that model I still have it somewhere in storage and it smells like that and that was new in the box so why would, I don't know why anyone would get rid of it. All it needed was a, a bit of a wipe and the filter um, replacing. So that, you know, it's not excessively noisy either. Um, Yes, it's quite good. I wasn't really expecting to like it. It was another impulse buy. It was cheap. And often I buy vacuums because I think they might be interesting to show you on my channel. If I didn't have a YouTube YouTube channel, I probably wouldn't have bought this. In fact, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I probably wouldn't buy the majority of vacuum cleaners that I show you. But obviously, I like to show you a variety of cleaners, old and new. And if something crops up on eBay and it takes my fancy, I'll get it, have a look at it. If I decide I don't want to keep it, I'll clean it up and sell it on. But for the time being, I think I might keep this one because it's in pretty good shape. Okay, while well, I remember, let's uh, give it a go with a suction gauge. Now, I think this probably has a suction relief valve somewhere inside, so I don't know how far this is going to go before that kicks in. Although it did let me hold it up even with the suction relief, even if it had a suction relief I was still able to hold the weight of the machine up with my hand just through the suction. Okay well we'll give it a go anyway. So I think this is going to be over 80. Wowza. Now that was peaking at 120. I don't think, at the time of making this video, I don't think I've had any vacuum cleaner going to 120. I mean, obviously, it's an empty box with a brand new filter, and as it gets used, and the filter clogs, which I assume in this machine will be fairly quickly, the suction's going to go down, but it would have to be very, very clogged for it to go down to 80, which was which would be respectable. So even with a full dust box, this has got one heck of a suck. Nothing sucks like an Electrolux, they say. Well, crikey, nothing sucks like that. That is quite astounding. We've got the uh, wand, which is genuine. It's all complete, I think. Ah, I'll tell you what, it isn't, is it? I thought it was complete with no small tools and I don't think unless they're hiding there's no onboard tool storage that's a shame I'll have to find um, an old instruction book or a leaflet and see what tools this came with I don't think it would have come with the Electrolux um, butterfly tool the dual dual dusting brush and upholstery nozzle I think this would have had 
probably three separate tools, a dusting brush, crevice nozzle, and a furniture nozzle, probably in the gray color. So yes, not perfect, but crikey. For 20 something pounds, whatever this was, that's a bit, that's a bit mucky, plastic base plate. Um, where's me? I think I'll just give that a quick wipe. We've got the Electrolux branding. Where's my, uh, I thought, oh, they're here. Right under my nose. I'll just, before I go back and forth over this pretty clean carpet, I'll just wipe the base. I am getting a new living room carpet, folks. Exciting news for you, which is why I thought I'd get rid of my backlog. I've got quite a few boxes of vacuums in my garage that I bought on eBay, mostly old ones that I haven't opened. And I thought, right, before I get the nice new carpet, let's get all these dirty vacuums opened and then I won't get my nice new carpet messed up. I'll be doing a video of the new carpet after it's been laid. That'll be exciting for you, won't it? You might have already seen that. I don't know when you're going to be seeing this. There we are. Let's give that a bit of a wipe because it's... Uh, just leave that to dry for a mo moment. We can have a look at the parquet. Very nice brushes on that. Look, look at them. It has had a little bit of use, but not loads. Yeah, could do with a bit of a clean, but yeah, that's a, that looks like that would be very good for hard floors, not just your parquet wood block. A hyacinth bouquet would have been very proud of having. There we are. Let's give this a wipe. So all in all, I wasn't expecting much from this cleaner. And I certainly wasn't expecting it to have that much <laughs> suction power. Crikey. Here's the handle. Did I show you that? It's got nice slide control to reduce the suction manually. And I'm wondering, looking at uh, there's two notches on it, I'm wondering if there was actually a little clip that held maybe two of the cleaning tools. I think this will have come with the cleaning tools my Electrolux Bolido came with. Just search my channel for Electrolux Bolido and you'll see that. Um, I think it would have come with the same sort of tools. But that'll do, I've given it a bit of a wipe. And that, uh, well, while I'm waiting for that to dry, let me just go in a bit deeper there. This will need a little, I'm not going to bother opening this cleaner up. Ugh. Um, it sounds fine, there's nothing wrong with that motor. I don't think this has had a huge amount of use, to be honest. But it sounds okay. I'm just going to give it more, a bit of more of a polish up and a wipe. And... Um, leave it at that sometimes it's better just to leave a vacuum if you don't suspect any motor problems and uh, you don't think it's going to be absolutely clogged up inside then my view is leave it be leave it be right there we go that'll that'll do uh, pop that on the end and we want it on the carpet setting because it was on hard floor. Just wait a moment for that to properly dry. But all in all, yeah. So very good, it survived the journey considering how poorly packed it was. No internal packaging whatsoever. And when I took it in, I thought, oh, I could feel it moving about in the box. That's quite a nice looking vacuum, and it really is. It's so robust, it's made of this tough plastic that you you rarely find this sort of tough plastic on some of the cheaper Chinese models. I mean, you know, that really, that really is good. Yep, yeah, much better than I thought it would be. Okay, let's just quickly run it over the carpet on how difficult it is to push got a few more bits in fact watch sh sh um, mm. I could empty the shark crikey that looks 
dirty. Um, it seems it seems silly, doesn't it? Really, I've used the shark to pick up. I've used this shark to pick up the muck from this, and now I'm going to put the muck back down. As I said, though, part of this carpet is maybe damp, so it's not. It's going to leave some of it. As I said, it doesn't matter. This carpet will be trashed soon because I'll be getting a new one. It's all. It's on order. It's going to be fitted in a few weeks. There we are. So. Oh, I don't really want to put my hands in it. It's that filthy. Of course, most of the muck, <coughs> most of the muck, I put in the bin. Oh, this is this is horrible. It's just something about this dirt that is extra nasty. And as you know, if you watch my channel for a while, I'm used to used to handling dirt, but. Uh, yuck. Right then, let's pick that up. Well, I thought at the time it was a mistake to put down dirt on this carpet that wasn't completely dry because as you can see, it's marked it. I'll just go over with my carpet washer later. But it's no problem. This carpet, as I said, is getting replaced. That will come off with a spot cleaner, actually. And um, yeah, but that's no fault of the vacuum. It's because it is ever so slightly damp on the uh, underside of the carpet where it's been shampooed but yeah it picked everything up on the surface it just left rather a dirty mark okay to finish the video might as well try out the cord rewind I'll give it a slight tug and hopefully it will rewind into the cleaner come on <laughs> bit sluggish Come on, you can do it. Come on. Get in there. Go on. Come on. Go on. <laughs> oh, it worked better earlier. Go on. Have to help it in, look. There we are. Oh, well, you can't have everything. Well, there you go. That's the end of my video on this Electrolux Ergo Box Cyclonic 2000 watt bagless vacuum cleaner what an amazing suction performance this cleaner had peaking at 120 on my suction gauge that is pretty impressive i certainly wasn't expecting anything like that but it's a 2000 watt machine you'd expect it to have a reasonable amount of suction but yeah it's good quite like it i'd recommend one if you can pick one up second hand quite cheaply and don't mind the maintenance it's a robust little machine still works obviously whoever sold it either didn't think it worked well enough or just wanted a nice new shiny vacuum so until the next time if you have any comments or questions about this vacuum please comment below please thumb up the video and don't forget to subscribe and you'll be updated every time i upload a new floor care video so until the next time thanks for watching and i'll see you all very soon Bye for now.